What's up, everyone? Welcome to my very humble channel where I go over everything, including low carb, high fat, keto, omnivore, and carnivore. Now, today's subject is going to be about weight loss or fat gain, either or weight loss, fat gain. Uh, I think still today, a lot of people are so confused about like, why am I gaining weight? I thought I was supposed to gain weight fasting and carnivore or whatever. But before I go into that, let's talk about my challenge. So right now I am doing a 30 day challenge where I go over keto, omnivore, carnivore, and low carb high fat. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm just getting questions nonstop and it's kind of fun and it's awesome to see you guys improve your health, disease, whatever you're going through in life. It's really fun that any information that I've learned over the years can benefit you guys. So with that said, let's get into it. Weight loss, fat loss. For example, this challenge. I am researching everything about blood sugar, insulin, muscles, sleep, circadian rhythm. All of these things matter. For example, right? Right now I was writing and I was like, I'm going to do a video. So muscles burn energy from food and fat at rest. This process is called your basal metabolic rate, BMR. You guys might have heard of this. Uh, this is which in which the energy that your body needs to maintain its metabolic functions, such as breathing, moving, blood circulation, and cellular repair. So essentially, when cellular re cellular repair is going on, can I talk? And um, all of your functions are in a homeostatic balance, you won't gain weight. So one thing that contributes to your BMR is muscles contracting. Yeah. There are endocrine systems, systems in every cell, your mitochondria. But a lot of people are still doing yoga, thinking they're going to have this, this sort of GLUT4 receptor development that helps to burn fat by uptaking glucose. You can't just fast, right? You can't just fast. You guys can't just, um, uh, you know, hit the gym for two hours, do a bunch of cardio, run, and expect like this fat loss. Now, I know that I've been on other people, gurus giving you like health advice. I mean, some of them have like really good tidbits and then sometimes they don't tie it together well someone uh commented under a video so do you think that everybody is lying and i'm like especially with fat loss right weight loss and i'm and i'm like it's not necessarily that they're lying they could be omitting the truth or maybe people don't even know their own symptoms it took me five years to understand chronic dehydration so I didn't really talk about it, especially in the, my first videos. If you go back, I didn't understand. I knew about electrolytes because Steve Finney talked about electrolytes. But I didn't understand personally my own experience of damage until it started happening to me. Magnesium deficient, potassium deficient. A lot of people don't understand the difference between a day twitch or a night twitch twitch, cramp. A lot of people do not understand nausea from their gallbladder or nausea from potassium deficiency. If your body feels stressed on this dietary measure, any of these low carb, fat, keto, omnivore, or carnivore, by the way, my challenge will cover all three diets, all three, because not one diet size fits everyone. We really have to be careful for our uncles, sisters, cousins, uncles, neighbors, bosses, daughters, uh, brother, 
that that individual did amazing on carnivore or fasting that doesn't that that's not going to happen to you it's not the same that's the reason why when people did a ketogenic diet it was like great in the beginning and then people started having severe metabolic issues severe thyroid issues severe constipation severe dehydration and carnivore the same things happening that's how i can use my little genie ball and i can see the difference when the same symptoms are happening to people on carnivore so the main reason that people will do keto or carnivore mainly is or fasting is to lose weight but if you don't know your thyroid status if you don't understand the symptomology if you do not understand your blood sugar i don't care that this guru lost 60 pounds because that guru who lost 60 pounds doing fasting and omad and carnivore maybe having nausea and heart palps and dark circles and crepey skin and never talk about it remember you guys when i start to develop melasma on my skin remember that and i would go on forums which is hyperpigmentation and they'd say you can't get rid of it you can't i'm melasma free as long as i take care of my body and as long as i balance my electrolytes especially magnesium it's not just my hormones people it's your minerals connected to your hormones and those hormones are connected to your skin or to fat loss or fat gain a lot of people do not understand their thyroid function so what do you do for example know your symptoms know if you've got constipation if you miss one day of pooping if somebody tells you online that if you're not pooping it's because you're using all the protein this is uneducated and foolish and a lie uh, if people are telling you that you know you're tired and you will feel better over time that's this is also a lie if you're tired you might try to understand your adrenal function or your thyroid function or if you're getting enough REM sleep every little detail matters when it comes to losing weight or to healing from fibromyalgia or from trying to fix your hyper hypothyroidism your diabetes your high blood sugar a lot of you guys are developing high blood sugar on carnivore and you will never lose weight if your if your blood sugar is high that is the reason why I'm like what's your insulin what's your a1c what's your fasted blood sugar what's your heart rate these things matter if you want to lose weight you have to get your stress down you must go to bed early. You have to get off your coffee. You have to poop because you've got to get out that estrogen. One of the gurus out there told the person that estrogen getting trapped in, and this was not a female, by the way, estrogen getting trapped in your liver is not true, and that has nothing to do with weight gain. What are you talking about? If estrogen remains high in your body, it'll keep resignaling. This The estradiol will keep telling you to make boobies and booty and waist even in you men a lot of men today are developing gynecomastia they're having fat their testosterone is incredibly low because their estrogen is too high and they cannot lose the weight and they keep fasting and jumping into ice baths and um and doing carnivore trying to expect some kind of miracle and the body doesn't work that way know your blood sugar know your a1c know your insulin understand your heart rate and how deep you're sleeping each night because these are indications of fat loss or fat gain you have to be in ketosis if you're doing a carnivore diet you have to hit at least 200 grams of fat if your gallbladder is not functioning properly you might have to go off of carnivore for the short term to then get that gallbladder functioning because if you have any imbalance or any inflammation anywhere and your body has been used to going down the cortisol pathway you're going to be in storage mode not burn mode period a client today said well if i eat fat if i'm already not losing any weight can't i just drop the fat and i said well you sound like you have hypothyroidism and you are just going to make it worse by dropping your fat you can only get energy from either carbs or fat protein is a terrible source of fuel and the more you try to stuff protein down the gullet and not crap the more you're going to gain some weight because that's going to spike your blood sugar it's going to potentially cause you kidney problems 
too much protein and chronic dehydration because a lot of gurus do not do not understand the blood sugar and the dehydration on a carnivore diet or on a keto diet not one diet fits all and it may not work for you this is why keto crashed and burned and died went, i do keto because i've done it for so long i understand my body my body is not your body my lifestyle is not your lifestyle my exposure to life stresses and chemicals in our environment aren't the same as yours and every little thing matters when it comes to fat loss now the woman today was like if you went through stress if you went through stress moving from texas to tennessee why didn't you gain weight and i'm like i've been doing this diet for freaking years and i've never been overweight my fat cells have not created more fat cells for fat storage but if I keep stressing my body out, I will develop that at age 55 and start gaining fat. If you were ever 200, or if you're a woman and over, you know, 200 pounds and you're not a bodybuilder and you lose a bunch of weight, you will always be on the fringe of gaining that weight back. So if you see anybody who is obese and now they're thin, it was never easy to keep that low weight. They might be not eating enough. You must balance your blood sugar and I mean too low weight not healthy weight all right guys that's all my phone can handle I think for now for those who do not do not understand most of my videos are lives because I don't have time to pre-record and edit videos <laughs> uh, the, I, my calendar is wide open for consultations I do have a course page is $15 a month but the challenge that's what's up I'm working my ass off on this thing all right, guys, energy, 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 energy at 55 going on 56. I cannot believe it. Life is good. Watch out, people. They coming for us. So dodge them. Be smart. When you know better, you always do better. Don't be in denial. Get off the coffee and cheese. Rotate your foods. Go to bed early. And that's just the start of it. Peace.